Let's start using the previous project, that in the preview OS lesson we called test. To be quick, we'll use the list of recent files. Let's open the IO data server, and select the alarms. Here we'll find a default area and source, for alarms. OK, let's use that, and with the right mouse button, we can insert a new alarm definition. From the properties window, we'll use a trip alarm, giving a name to alarm and let's go to set the activation condition and value. In our example, we wanted to activate the alarm when the tank level exceed the value equals 80. Using the mouse right button, we can select the tag variable from the list, to assign to the alarm. We can define the text for the alarm, using the properties window. In our example, we also want to activate a command on the condition alarm on. When the alarm goes on, we want to turn off the pump. From the command window, we can insert the tag values command, in order to set the pump tag equals zero when the alarm goes to alarm on. Now we can go on the screen, to insert a alarm window object to display the active alarms of the project. From the toolbox, let's select the object alarm windows and drag and drop to the screen. We can size and adjust the object on the screen, according to our needs. In this case, we just set the font size. We can also insert a display, that will help us to better see the tag value for the tank level. We have to assign the tag to the display. We can use the properties window, but here we still use the drag and drop way. Well done. Finish, now we can check how it works. Save the project and run the runtime execution. Let's check how it works. The tag associated to the alarm is the tank levels variable. When the value is greater than 80, either alarm will be activated, and consequently the command to stop the pump will be executed. We can use the alarm windows as buttons to acknowledge and reset the alarms. Each time that the tag's value will be greater than 80, the alarm will be activated and the related command executed. Great job! It works fine, and now we can stop the runtime and come back to editor with Alt plus F4.